Hello everyone, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Wherever you may be in this world, hello. My name is Princess, but I would like to address myself as the Ambazonian Princess in Exile. As you know, today is the 1st of January 2020, and many people across the globe are celebrating the dawn of the new year. But when it comes to Ambazonia, the story is very different. Today, a day of joy, celebration and happiness. But not for some children in countries such as Syria. Not for some children in Muslim concentration camps. And not for some children in Ambazonia. What happened? What happened to human rights? What happened to human rights for children? The youth of the world are the future of the world, yet there's some children in Amazonia living in bushes all along without family or friends at Christmas time and in the year. A time of contentment and felicity. This intense happiness is all that we want, but instead the only feeling living inside of them is fear and sorrow. What happened? Us children are the ones that are supposed to turn this wretched world we call home into a place of joy and gladness. Yet we are being shot, tortured, butchered and traumatised. Imagine living in Syria, bombs exploding everywhere, coming closer and closer to you and before you know it, it's too late. Imagine surviving in Chinese concentration camps as a Muslim, having to change your belief, and if you don't, you get shocked with an electric baton in the back of your head. I'm going to help you how to fully imagine being a child in the bushes in Amazonia. Mosquitoes, and you have the threat of cholera, poisonous snakes and insect bites, with no clean water or food and the danger of attacks. Living in bushes and having this constant fear and having to remind yourself to look over your shoulder over and over again because you're being hunted, remember? You're exposed to wild animals and bullets, everything, even though you're innocent. The world has to change. Innocent people, innocent children are being killed every day whilst the world just turns away. What has it got to take? Because now I'm scared. I can't even talk to my family down in Amazonia. What if I never even talk to them again? Whose fault will it be then? And all of the Amazonian children watching this, stay strong and keep fighting because the day will come when the war will end. You won't live in bushes anymore. And I want to assure you, you will catch up on three years of miseducation whilst the world watches you thrive. And I want to call on world leaders. I want to call on the Queen of England, Boris Johnson, Donald Trump, Obama, anybody who can take a stand and raise awareness of what's going on down there. Thank you.